Hello all, I'm doing a wine tasting experiment here. I don't really know what the exact purpose is. Um, so I have three IPAs that I have never had before. Um, two of them are very fresh, like within 10 days, canned within 10 days ago. And then one of them is two and a half months old. Um, <clears throat> I guess I should have had the cans here to reveal it. Maybe I can bring them in. So one is a Springdale Dane IPA, um, just came out, never, never brewed before. One is Dorchester, oh, I can't remember the name of it right now, Dorchester something. <laughs> um, a brand new one, first time Dorchester Brewing Company, I think has distributed their cans outside um, to retailers. And then one of them is a City Lights Hazy IPA, which won the silver medal at the Great American Beer Festival for a juicier hazy IPA from Milwaukee Unknown Brewery, another unknown Midwestern brewery um, meddling in that category. But the one thing is that that City Lights one is the one that is two and a half months old. And I don't know how everything was uh, you know stored. The City Lights uh, was in a cool store and it's actually in the fridge, but over two and a half months, I don't know what happened. Um, and it's super humid today, and I've got them in these, uh, as you can see, like blue tinted glasses to kind of prevent me from being able to tell what they look like, because you, you'd think that the oldest one would be the least hazy. And I'm getting some really great aromas. All three of these together smell really good. Um, it looks like one has had the head died down pretty completely. The other ones still have a little bit of a cap of foam. That gives me a little bit of a hint that this might be one of the fresher ones because a lot of times the fresher ones, they're super hazy. It seems like those ones are um, tend, tend to not have as good of a head, but we'll see. I'll just start and go, I go, I guess my left to right here. So big, I guess the big challenge here is can I tell the old IPA? This one's Seems like it's fresh. I'm smelling a little bit of booze in there, actually. These glasses, I guess, aren't the best for aroma. Ooh, yeah, quite boozy. Hmm. Not sure about that. For some reason, I'm guessing that's the Dorchester beer, though. I've had no Dorchester brand beers. I've had beers they've brewed for other, other companies. It smells kind of tropical and, and citrusy and grapefruity, but that boozy note is not great. Let's go into the middle one. Oh, that smells better. This is definitely like a pineapple, kind of banana almost. Yeah, a nice pina colada smell. I love that. Also smells boozy to me. <laughs> is everything going to smell boozy to me? We'll see. And then this is the one right that has, that lost its head pretty quickly. This one smells the sweetest of the bunch, but I think this is the older one. I don't think I'm getting a boozy aroma from this one. Yeah, that has like old ripe banana. I thought these would be good glasses, but I don't know. Now, now they're all smelling a little bit boozy to me. I don't really know. It's really hot and humid in here right now. I also haven't drank anything yet today, so I don't know, maybe I'm just really noticing it. But they do smell all kind of similar, I would have to say. Except this one is, is the most. It smells a little bit like nail polish remover. Mm. Yeah, and I get the booze and the flavor too. Yeah. Hopefully this is the old one, and bang isn't, because the other ones I got four packs up with that one. Damn. That is quite boozy. Yeah, it's got, it's got a vodka thing going on. That's not good. I probably wasted my money on a four pack on that one. Should just grab a single can. But I guess it'll be a good one to share with people to see if they think it's boozy too. But I'm not getting that much out of that one. Citrusy and boozy. Vodka. This one's definitely better. More citrus. 
and pineapple. Now it's boozy in the flavor, but wouldn't it just be weird if these are all kind of off batches? Definitely better. Definitely got that pina colada thing going on, pineapple, coconut, hints of banana, <clears throat> but like, not like really ripe, almost banana bread like I was smelling from the third one. That one's pretty good. I'm, I'm gonna maybe guess that, that this one is the Springdale because I've had their IPAs before, kind of another character, but I haven't had this one in particular. <clears throat> And here is the one that I was I was thinking maybe wasn't the old one because, as I was saying, like it's, it seems like the fresher, super hazy IPAs tend to have the worst head. Um, but who knows? This one could could I could be totally wrong with all this stuff. Let's see. Yeah, there's a little bit of a dankness to this one. I feel like my nose just isn't up to par right now, and these glasses are honestly really bad for this. Uh, this this being able to smell them from. But lots of banana. But it does smell pretty good, but this one's got <clears throat> kind of a banana smoothie type thing. Sweet, ripe fruits, um, not as bright and fresh. More body in this one. A little bit of a vanilla, not quite cream soda. This, this one, I don't know. Seems like this is the sort of thing they would win <clears throat> a medal. There, there's not, there are not flaws in this one. Not boozy. Um, held up pretty well for two and a half months. Not getting oxidation. Yeah, pretty nice body on that. Interesting. All right, now let's see if I can go back to the first one. Sometimes certain hop varieties make me think of booziness more. I, I looked at these hop varieties but forgot them already. <clears throat> so I think this one's, I think the Dorchester one is El Dorado and some other newer hop variety and, and Equinot maybe. Equinot I often perceive as making a beer a little bit boozier and a little more intense, but usually it's more dank and like cedary and stuff, yeah, which I'm not exactly getting in this one. And the boozy notes are still there after having a few sips. But this one was also canned eight days ago, so maybe they'll mellow out. I kinda kinda doubt it a little bit. Um, let me get one more taste of each and then I'll see if I I, I think I'm probably st sticking with it. The Dorchester, Springdale, and City Lights. Mm. This middle one is good too. But just has a little bit. A little bit of booziness, but not vodka levels. Mm. This one's just really well made. I'm getting a bit of throat burn now, mostly from these two. This one does have a little bite to it, but it looks like it's super hazy in the glass. This one on the left, actually, from the top looks less hazy. It's hard to see because they have some bubbles, but this one is super orange. Okay, probably hard to tell in there. So I guess let's just, let's see, Dorchester, yep. And, oh, wait a minute. This is the middle one, so City Lights. Uh-huh. Interesting. So I couldn't tell. I mean, I shouldn't have used these glasses. But I'm not, I'm not getting old, old hop in this. And the color is still pretty bright. You know, they recently had a batch of Old Nation M43, which I've been going back and forth on whether I like that one. And I realize now that they must have really bad dissolved auction problems because in less than a month, the last can that I drank was less than a month old and it, it turned brown and apple cinnamony, whereas the cans I had, you know, a couple weeks fresh were really good. So it's like, and it was in my fridge the whole time. Um, so fig figure that out, Old Nation. And then yeah, for some reason, their double IPA, Boss Tweed, that was the same age, but that didn't have pro oxidation problems. And so of course, this is the Springdale. Um, yeah, I should have guessed that this is the Springdale because they're they definitely often would be really hazy and have low head retention. So I was right that one of the fresher ones. This is the freshest one, I think. 
Um, interesting. So I think the boozy from this leached on to the next one or something. Mm. But I'm kind of humbled. And maybe I should have bought more of this one. I was like, oh, it's two and a half months old. Maybe I shouldn't buy more. Um, I could have guessed, because I think this had slightly less liquid than the other ones, but I was trying to not look at that, because this is a 12 ounce can, these are 16. Um, but yeah, I'll have to drink the rest of this and, and see what I think. Maybe I'll have my girlfriend do a little challenge here too. <clears throat> but this, this was pretty fun. It's informative to me, I don't know if it's that informative to you, because a lot of you might not even know these beers at all. But it's a good challenge for your tastes. Um, that's it, bye.